to you Say you say you like that If I hate you then Find someone new Baby but you know I never will No So I choke you down Just like a Whoever wins that is probably gonna give NRG the biggest run for the money. I think okay. this, that's the finals matchup for me. I love 
I love Obey uh, versus Hungry for More. Yeah, their yeah, story yeah. on that, and then it's eager. It's hard to root against that man. Yeah, especially <laughs> with how he's been playing. So that's. Like I was gonna come down here yesterday, but like after the NRG match, I was like, it's licked and it's yeah. Yeah, I was like, ah, you know, <laughs> not. Last question: uh, What's your favorite roll and god? Oh, roll god. Uh, it's gotta be ADC because that's what right. I learned Smite on. Okay. Nothing in Smite made sense until I played my first game as Cupid, and I was like, oh, I get it. You just do this stuff. <laughs> and then I look, I played Apollo, and I have a diamond Apollo. Everything else is like rank one. So Apollo's got to be my favorite guy. Oh jeez. Like oh jeez. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I, I, there's a few points I disagree with. <laughs> right. You was Scary D. He's gonna play today. Yeah. Yeah. How you feeling about that game? Feeling really good. You ready? Really excited. Nice. Yeah. Really bad at once. That's fine. Don't worry about yeah. it. It's gonna be good. Um, <laughs> Out of all the competition, is uh, NMG the team you fear the most? Or yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So if you win today, you're all set. Yeah. You're gonna win. All right, sweet, sweet. In that case, best of luck, man. <laughs> okay, um, a few more questions about the event. Like, how do you feel about the event as well? What's your favorite part? You know the moments, for sure. Nice. Yeah. Really fun meeting. Yeah. Uh, favorite yeah, yeah, moments? I want to go to the other place. Fair enough. Right. thank you very much. Thank you guys. <laughs> Right, what's up, guys? Here with Jeff now. Next, Lumi. Um, how are you feeling about the games coming up today? Like, um, yeah, be hard, like, kinda so. ten times. Right, you confident that you have a good shot? Uh, yeah. Yes, definitely. Sweet. Same as Scary D with the, the game being the hardest one for you, or would you say this game? Uh, yeah, this game's rough. Yeah. Huh? Cool. What do you expect from like if you win today? What are you gonna do after? Get dinner and then prep for finals. <laughs> right. Uh, favorite guy at the moment. Bacchus. Bacchus. So basically, Bacchus for sure. <laughs> it's right. Bacchus. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. <laughs> right, with me is Sensi. Sensi is known for editing for Orbit, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. Orbit is my game. New finals, dude. New finals. We'll see. We'll see. We're not there yet, but we might be. How are you feeling? How are you feeling about the game so far? That was the best set of the weekend. Yeah. Okay. Obey, Obey eager, best set of the weekend. Everything else, easy, you know, quick game. Oh, but come on. Give it, give it, give it to Lish, man. Lish was, alright, Vlad AM had a chance. I love, I love Vlad AM. Yeah. I think Obey's gonna take it. Win the world. Alright, alright. Win the Alright. You heard it here first. <laughs> alright, thanks a lot, man. Yeah, thank you. Recap the hug. Right. I'm here with Chiara now, and um, well, some of you may know her from Twitter. She's uh, Variety's girlfriend at the moment. And, um. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, come on! How do you feel about last set? Dude, I almost like fucking died. I was a bit surprised that Egan took two of them to be honest, but I was so happy with the last set, especially Twig on Fenrir. Like, yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't think anyone really expected him to call like that. Like... Nobody was expecting him to be Fenrir, but it was just fuck's sake. <laughs> You think uh, Obey is gonna win finals? I hope so. You hope so? I hope so. Do you like, believe? I believe. Like, if it's energy, they're probably gonna have a hard time because they scrimmed on them and everything. But if it's LG, I think they're gonna have a bigger chance of beating them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Favorite guard? Favorite guard, Sala. Sala! You wanna see her in finals? Maybe. Not necessarily. Nah, I'm pretty pumped now. Nah. I don't wanna see pretty pumped. So. Nah, okay. Let's get that one. Okay. Alright, sweet. Thank you very much. Yay, Season four. What is the change you're most excited for? That you can talk about. I mean, the conquest changes are pretty hype. Yeah. We've been having a lot of fun with them. It's new, new objectives that give yeah. you tactical advantages, not just gold next speed buffs. Right. So there's a lot of fights going on, a lot of tactical stuff. It's really cool. You have uh, the, the elemental for the bot, right? Yes. Um, and you said it's going to spawn in ten minutes. Right. But the fire giant also spawns. So it stays in front of the fire giant. It's actually across from the fire giant. Oh, by the wall. Yeah. By the mid harpy's wall. Oh, it's sweet. Uh, there's going to be a little area over there for him. So the the imps will be near the giant. Okay. The new demon will be across from a little further. So you'll be able to engage the giant yeah. without aggroing. Oh. Right. But the whole game over, right? Yeah. So they yeah. they respawns. Yeah. Yeah. After yeah. that. So once he spawns after ten minutes, That's he's safe there. Yeah. Uh, more again. Yeah, she's crazy. Right? <laughs> she's crazy. Is it actually going to be the case that you you use three abilities and then you use the ult to get another four abilities? That is how it goes. Yeah. Jesus. She uses her one, two, three. Then she ults. Then you use whoever you target. They're all their whole so, kit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use her abilities, put into Susano, and everyone's dead. Sure. If you're good enough at Susano and Morgan to do that. Nice. Yeah. I practice that. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not good at the game at all. Hey, you can do really crazy stuff.
Right, anything else you want to say? I'm just really excited for season four. I hope all your your fans and viewers are too. It's going to be great. I think it's, I think all the changes you've been doing are really good. All right, thank you very much. Thanks. I was thank you. Yeah. All right, I'm here with Todd. You can introduce yourself a little more. Yeah, I'm Todd Harris, one of the co-founders of Hi-Res Studios. Maybe just sum up what the event was for you so far, how we feel about it. Yeah, the event's awesome. So I get to meet people like this, you know, you guys traveled all the way from Germany to be here. So uh, 3,000 super fans. So uh, yeah, it's been an awesome event. We just obviously had the second EU team go forward um, to the Smite PC Finals, which is sweet. Um, we've also got strong European showing uh, over here on the Paladin stage. So it's going to be hype tomorrow. I'm looking forward to a lot of good games, PC, Xbox, and Paladins as well. I feel like the NA audience is going to take a bit of a hit with all the EU Finals. Uh, <laughs> viewership might take a little bit of a hit, but you know, the best teams got to advance, and that's, that's the way it happens. And so uh, NA can come back next year. What do you think about like the future of, of Hi-Res? Where do you want to go? Do you want to like s establish the games that you have more? Do you want to branch out more? A bit of both? All the above. We're All gonna the go above. hard, man. <laughs> World domination. I think. Um, well, obviously we've got a lot that we just released. So Paladins, we feel like we're just getting started. We've got 20 champs, and we're gonna do like 15 next year, which would be a crazy pace. Oh, wow. So it'll be like the early Smite years. We just have to like pump it out because competitive games get more interesting mm -hmm. when you have more champs. Then we got rivals, and we got tactics that are just getting started. So as High Res does, we'll try to work with the community and help craft the game and make it better because those are just like little tiny babies that have to grow up and thrive. So that's kind of the main purpose. But then, you know, the whole reason we called this uh, HRX or High Res Expo is we want to keep doing this as a community event. So um, eSports will always be the, the top content, but we want to, uh, you know, have like merchandise and cosplay and partners in and more games. At the end of the day, we like playing a lot of different genres that are competitive. And so long term, We'd love to have a nice free-to-play version, uh, you know, in all the league genres, basically. It's right. a modest goal, you know. <laughs> Thank you very much. Any last words? Uh, you know, play Smite, play Paladins, <laughs> play high-res games. Standard closing question, favorite Smite god? You know, I am old school, so I'm like original, like season one god, so I'm like, I'm a Zeus guy. So the fact Zeus. that Zeus yes. actually yes. got played, you know, um, you know, that's good. That's good for me. Thank you very much. What was your favorite part so far? Uh, the Latin games, honestly. Those are like the best things. John, John, oh, yeah. John! Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping that John, John, John was really the number one, but like, how do you kind of stop them? <laughs> were, you, were you actually rooting for them? Uh, I don't know. Like yeah. beforehand? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, right. I wanted the, one of the international teams to go far. Yeah, true, yeah, too. Yeah. Well, they, 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 <laughs> yeah. A bit too far, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Arguably. Yeah. All right, uh, we're going to do the, the clothing question. We always say, what's your favorite god? Favorite god? Uh, Kali. Nice. Yeah. I like that. Pra, he was my first god. All right, all right. Okay, I can't be on that.